Hi everyone, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here and in this video I've got a free stereo widening VST plugin for you that I found and I've tested and it works very well. Really handy for all kinds of music production, electronic and uh, even traditional music production. To add some width to a mono sound and make it sound like it's stereo, you can create fake stereo. You can also use it on something that's too much of a stereo sound and you can narrow it down to mono. There are ways of doing this with stock plugins in various digital audio workstations, but this just takes a hassle out of it and makes it really easy. So the plugin is called the Isotope Imager, and it's normally included with the Isotope suite of plugins. And uh, I don't know how long this is going to be free for, but I see that this post was made in December 2019. It's currently October 2020, and it's still free. So um, simply go to this website. I'll leave the link to this in the description. Uh, download the plugin. I'll show you how to install this in Ableton Live. And then I'll show you how it works. So I'll just pop in your email address and I'll start the download. So before you download it, they actually give you the serial number and then download it for either PC or Mac. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that serial number and download for Mac. While we're waiting for that download to finish, there is also a video from Isotope um, quickly displaying what the capabilities of the plugin are. That's worth a little watch. I'll leave a link to this as well. And there is a demonstration song used in this that I really liked. And that is called Small Victory by Transviolet, sort of uh, electro indie rock. If you're into that, definitely check this out. They look like this. They're a uh, up and coming band. So I really like the song. Well worth a listen. So once you've downloaded that installer, just run the wizard and it will prompt you through and throw in that serial number. And then you should have it. I've already installed it uh, in Ableton Live. So this is uh, just a track I've been working on. And here's the plug in here. I'll switch it off. So Basically, there's a couple of modes. It's a really simple plugin, but if you just want to add some width, I'll delete it there because I'll show you where to find it first. Um, I installed, I think, an audio unit um, as well as a VST3. So you can go audio units or VST3. Um, just drag it into the track you want. This is a bit of a horn track here. Let's have a listen without this anything engaged. So the simplest way to use this is with this width uh, plugin here. And I think what it does is, um, it just, oh, here you go, it tells you what it does. It adjusts the amount of gain applied to the side channels of the signal content. So you use this width here, if you've already got a stereo sound, and it makes it sound more stereo. It, it boosts the right and left uh, information and keeps the gain down the center the same. So you can push this up to make it wider. So of course you'll only hear this if you're wearing stereo headphones or listening on stereo speakers in a good environment. You won't hear the difference if you're watching this on a phone or a tablet or probably not on a laptop. So it also gives you a visual representation of the stereo image there on the left and right and the center. And so you can actually take something that is got stereo information and you can narrow this down. This can be good if you've got a electronic bass sound and you want to make it a bit narrower. So you'll see that's made that really boxy just in the center. Um, there is another mode here, the stereo eyes and stereo eyes. I think that's how you say it. Um, this is this uses what I would normally do with a delay plugin using the Hass effect. Uh, it delays the left and right speaker a little bit. There's two modes. So mode one uses the Hass effect, and when you delay the left and the right speaker, it creates a false stereo effect. So this is a really good plugin if you've got an acoustic guitar that was recorded in mono. If you've just got acoustic guitar and voice, and you want to make the acoustic guitar wider so that the voice sits in the middle and the guitars pushed to the sides. Normally, if you're recording uh, a acoustic guitar with vocal, I would use a stereo miking setup on the acoustic guitar 
so you can pan it hard left and right and then a mono mic so you got this sort of um what's known as a mid side sort of recording technique so you got one mic in the middle and then you've got one for the left and one for the right so you can do a sort of fake stereo by using mode one and pushing this up um, there is also a second mode which i found worked a bit better and this is something that uh, i'm not really read up on but uh, it sounds really interesting so i think i have to do some reading it selects velvet noise based decorrelation this mode convolves the mid channel with a series of decaying velvet noise impulses to generate side channel content so again it's that sounds pretty complex but really they're just taking sound that was in the center and they're synthesizing they're using that sound to synthesize some stereo information basically i'm not really familiar with velvet noise based decorrelation so it's time for me to read up a bit i think this has been working really well for me i've had some changes this year where i'm working basically i'm stuck in my home studio at the moment uh the commercial studio that i was working at uh, is not operating at the moment so uh, i was very lucky to have access to hundreds probably thousands of uh, super high-end um, plugins through there um, and now that i'm in my home studio i don't want to go having to purchase every one of those suites that i'm used to it cost me tens of thousands of dollars to install them all again so anytime you can find a, a free vst that does what you want to do that's a win especially for um, up and coming music producers who have not made it their full time thing yet. So I hope you enjoyed this, everybody. If you want to learn more about Ableton Live, I have a new course out. Uh, basically, it's a beginner's guide to Ableton Live where I create a track from start to finish, and you can see how a professional music producer would create music. And I show you my secrets for mixing and mastering, getting loudness, and how I create a track, how I get ideas, and things like that. I'll also leave a link uh, to that in the description of this video and there's a free mini course if you want to do that. So you can do three uh, part crash course in Ableton Live for free um, and you get a free sample pack and things like that. So that's all and I'll see you in the next video.